What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, just there. Here I am doing a video that I thought I wasn't going to be doing. I was going to do some reaction videos while the songs were being released. I'm kind of glad I didn't because I pretty much had the same reaction as everybody that I've seen. I've watched a ton of the reaction videos and I think it's a pretty much unanimous reaction to these songs from Drake and Kendrick. Let me just uh, post Not Like Us, Kendrick. That's where we are now. It's the last thing that was released, I believe. Things are coming out so quickly. It was the last thing I've heard. And I just want to give my my little two cents here. For what it's worth. Whew, okay. Let me just take you back. Uh, let's go. Let's just go from Family Matters. I was in the car. Seeing Drake getting ready. Boom, Family Matters was released. I listened to the song. Mind you, I enjoyed Euphoria. Thought it was was dope. I was like, man, Kendrick came hard. Pause. But you know, rap beef songs. Drake has a lot of talent. So I didn't think he was down and out like some people said. Sure enough, we dropped Family Matters. First, first section, second section, third section. Dang. Drake. Why'd you do that? Just just went off on everybody. Just just painful. There's a lot going on in the song. A lot to analyze. We didn't get to analyze it. Didn't get to analyze it. Meet the Grams drops. My jaw drops. Pulse. Kendrick. What, bro? Bro, what? 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 Meet the Grams drops. I was fortunate enough to remember when Ether came out. So my eight year. I was fortunate enough to be there for takeover and Ether. The vibe that was in the air when Ether was released was insane. You could feel it. I felt a little bit of that when Meet the Grinch came out. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. And um to be completely honest, I didn't know how this this whole rap battle between Kendrick and Drake was gonna go. Like we haven't been hearing a lot from Kendrick. Drake's been on fire always. It's just always my boy Cole. Cole was close. That's my boy Cole. Do what he did. It's another story. But uh, meet the Grams were damaging, very damaging. Um, Drake said some damaging thing in in in, in his uh, Family Matters trap. Um, spousal abuse or women abuse uh, DV allegations pretty bad pretty bad but we do know Kendrick did speak about those things in previous interviews and the fabrications or whatever so it kind of takes a little bit of wind out of those sails because at least the man said it's not true you know who really knows I'm not that close to anybody that's even that close to any of them. So I'm just speaking from the outside objectively as a man and a fan. And I can say at least step one, he did not. Now, if Drake has any more things like that, I don't know where the dirt goes or how deep the, the rabbit hole goes, but that's where that is. So I'm going to leave it at that. Some of the other things he said, whew, yeah, 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 yeah. Got some stuff. But... The things that were said on Meet the Grams. Yeah, no. It's kind of crazy. It's kind of crazy, like, let's admit. The things that he's saying in the rap world, this is not something that is normally said. This is not something that you put on people. This is serious. You know, and when I, when I, when I listen to the lyrics of the song, I'm like, okay... You know, 
But what does he mean by all of this, the sick man and all of that? And I'm trying to really break down the words because, you know, Kendrick is he's a wordsmith and he's very deliberate with the things that he said. So I'm just like, let me get everything for exactly what he says first before I start taking these liberties and saying, oh, man, he's into this or he's trying to say that. Let me just hear what he actually says. So I'm just like, man, OK. And everybody's kind of harping on the daughter thing. And it's like, oh, the daughter, the daughter, the daughter. And yeah, that's surprising too, knowing Drake's history with the son. And it's kind of comical. Oh man, now he's hiding a daughter. But to be honest, the daughter thing really sucks. But I think the other things are a little more serious than the daughter thing. You know, I I, I can say I, I would. there's a lot of deadbeat dads. Or if he's not even a deadbeat, he could just be hiding her for whatever his reason is. But the other things, and y'all know what I'm talking about, you know, pedicures, people doing pedicures. Um, that's that's insane. It's actually insane, and it's the same thing to say on someone who was once your boy. You know, he's once your boy. So even in a battle, that's getting vicious. Like you must really. This better be honest. This better be a real thing. Because you must really just like this man because this is a life-changing thing to say about someone. And I thought maybe, hey, maybe he was just throwing some things out there because now stuff is coming out about people on his team that actually had cases. I don't know if they were convicted of anything. You know how that goes. Haven't really did that much research on it yet. I was kind of letting the internet filter in. I, like I said, I wasn't going to do this video, but I don't know. There's some things out there, people's names are attached to certain things. I don't know how serious that they are, if they were just brought up on things, not convicted. I don't know. But these do seem to stem from somewhere. Kendrick is these things are stemming from somewhere. Now, I don't know how real or serious it is. But as far as a rap battle wise, as far as rap battle wise, he doubled down when he dropped Not Like Us. And he straight up said it in the song. He straight up said it. Talked about those things in detail, what they were. Double down, the picture, the, the, the cover with the with the pins for the uh, offenders. He he doubled. I would say that's a triple down at this point. And um, here's my take on that, just from the perspective of a fan and a man. Drake. Put up a post about if someone knows where his daughter is, send it to him or whatever. Ha ha, you know, Drake can meme his way out of things. Why not say anything about the other allegations, which I would think are more important? Now, I've heard the arguments of some people saying, yeah, why would he say that? Everybody knows it's not true and and whatever and uh, wouldn't even address it or hide it. Okay, for one. Everybody doesn't know it's not true because I don't know. I don't know if it's true or not. That that's I don't know. We don't know. All the things that are happening, people's houses getting raided. We don't know what's going on. People having islands. We don't know what's going on. Yes, see the Nickelodeon documentaries. These guys out here, what they're doing. I don't know. So, frankly, it's, it's it's pretty. It's wild. It's wild to me. It's wild to me. I don't know what what the heck is going on. You hear all these things about industries and all. You don't know. You don't know. And of course, now the spin of everybody putting up all these things and Drake's relationships and, and questionable things. Yeah. Like, there's something to be said for a man who could just come out and say, hey, I, this guy's bugging. I don't do that. I'm not into that. What is he talking about? Out of his freaking mind. Like, you're listening to this guy. That's a starting point. Now, if you want to go the route that he should just take the I don't know, or I don't say anything wrong and just keep silent. Yeah, I, I get that. But he already mentioned the daughter thing not being true. So, you know, I just, just say, hey, also, that's not true. Or maybe, hey, I don't do that. And I don't have a daughter. Like, if you're going to speak up on something, speak up on the most major things. You know what I'm saying? Like, imagine if I told you that your friend drinks blood, steals cars, and and smacks people and then i told you that they also missed a payment on their car and then you go to them and put the allegations and they're like show me where i missed the car payment 
you're not going to be like, hey, you just ignored the blood drinking and all the other things. Like, you just, you know, if you're going to say something, say something. But, um, yeah, at this point, Kendrick just hit him with a, with a swift two-piece. Very damaging. Took the wind out of all the sales of Family Matters, I think, by releasing the song so soon. Wonderful strategic move in hip-hop. And, um, yeah, these other things, I feel like, you know, if Drake does have a red button... It's time to push it. Push the red button. Trade do whatever you gotta do. If it's gonna take down the whole industry, take down the whole industry. If it's gonna nuke everybody, nuke everybody, Drake. It is time because this is gonna linger with you. Everywhere you go, this is gonna linger. This is going to be on your legacy. If you don't red if you red button it, you can change your legacy to the guy who just blew everything up. He red buttoned, he shut everything down, whatever that means for you. If it's not pushed, I don't know. If it is pushed, that that I don't know what to tell you. You gotta say something. Come out with a statement. I don't know. But um, yeah, man, red button time. We need it. We need the red button. And just hope that Kendrick doesn't have a bunker for the new. That's all. Yeah, I mean, that's all I really gotta say about that. I, I I read the stuff on the internet. I'm very interested in it now. All the the double crosses and and leaks and moles. It all sounds cool. I hope at the end these two guys could both just prove their innocence on everything, come together and just explain how this was a wonderfully orchestrated story and all the strategic moves made. Like you know, like hey, it's a great game of chess, guys. Shake hands. I, I hope it comes out that clean. But if it doesn't. I hope everything that needs to be exposed get exposed for the people, for the culture. And, um, yeah, man, tell me what y'all think down in the comments. There's so much going on. I hope we get another track from Drake soon before Kendrick releases another one. Uh, yeah, yeah, I don't want it to end here. I don't want it to end. This would be an awkward spot for it to end. I know a lot of people are saying, well, it's done, you know, Drake. This would be an awkward spot for it to actually end. Like, something has to be said at this point. Someone has to say some things. A lot of people are quiet. So, I don't know, man. Tell me what y'all think in the comments. <laughs> is your boy just there? That's just my, my posts, not like us, take. And um, I'm out.